Hello guys, this time I am just going to describe you how to create the child themes and how to modify the themes. In my case, I am using DV themes and I am just going to modify the files of the theme. Before going for this, we just need to have the plugins child theme configuration. So I have already searched, you can see that and now I am going to install it. So you can see this is a installed and now I have activated. So you can see the child themes configurator at this point. So next go to the child theme under tools. So this is the first option which is saying that create a new child themes so next option is for the V so go to the analyze button this themes appears ok to use the child themes ok so I have already analyzed it and the name of the child themes is TV hyphen child so you can see that and select where to save a new styles primary style sheet style dot css it's giving me some options and just leave it as it is and scroll down create a new child theme So I think it is created the child themes. Let me confirm that by going to the appears and themes. So this is a child themes of babies. Now you can activate it. So in the next just again go to the tools child theme if you want to edit the files in my case I need to edit the footer.psps and I will click on that if you have any other kind of files then you can click on that and copy selected to child themes so it is now copying the footer.php to my child theme which I have created earlier. So again go to the appearance and then go to the editors. So now you can see the db child and this is a footer.php and let me check in the front and showing you the footer displaying design by elegant themes powered by WordPress so we just need to change the copyright things so this is a footer.php and it is a little files and you can see some of the codings at here the combination of php and html this is a basically a php file this is a footer.php file and you can get the 
कोड अथेयर This is a footer ID main footers get sidebars footer and this is a footer bottom it is saying social icons Suppose you does not want to show the social icons in your front page. Then I'm just giving the example. Then you can delete the whole coding of from that and take a copy. As well as at your end and save it. Then check it out in front. So you can see the whole things has been hidden from that. So by this way. you can change the footer files or any other files from backend without creating the child themes manually you just need to install the plugins and then go to the tools child themes and just repeating it for you you just need to create the child themes first of all and then go to the file section then you need to choose the file which file you want to create on child themes so this also is the query selectors property value web fonts baseline styles child styles and this is a child styles it is blank and this is a cold files and just give you as another example suppose if you want to copy the index.php and page.php then select it and copy select it to child themes then you need to just go to the themes and then go to the editors then you can see this is the index.php and this is a page.php the file is appear at here if you want to change the file then select it and change it accordingly so it is very useful plugins to for every wordpress website because if you want to change some coding of or custom things to your themes then you need to have a child themes so every wordpress website has to be a child theme so that you can easily change the themes from dashboard So by this way you can do that I hope you like this videos please subscribe us for more videos like that I will create a dv themes videos 
in my next videos where I will use the e-commerce website with the help of the DB themes. So thanks for watching these videos. I hope you like these videos. Please subscribe us for more videos like that. Thanks.